this little video I'm making to document a little problem I'm having uh, with uh, trying to charge a ZP4200 with an AccuCell S60. Um, so basically, I received uh, everything uh, brand new and uh, when trying to charge the battery I had a, a small problem so uh, I'm gonna show what I did to troubleshoot the problem and um, I will send the video to the Hobby King team and then hopefully they can they can agree to send me a replacement for the faulty part so anyway so here's the AccuCell S60 which is uh, an AC charger and uh, this one is a uh, ZP Flightmax 4200 uh, 4200 mAh, it's a 4S2P 30C it's a LiPo 4 pack uh, so lithium iron uh, uh, phosphate uh, battery so and uh, so basically here we go so first I'm going to connect the uh, charger on, on the sector. Actually, I can plug it in here. All right. So it is turning on as such. So in order to recharge the battery, I have to connect the, the balance plug. And these are two female plugs, and these are two female plugs as well. So I have to use a connector t cable between the, the battery and the, and the charger, like such. So this one is the uh, balancer connector. So basically, this is going to tell the current state of the battery. So, for example, if um, if I go to um, let's see. To the battery meter function, the battery is detected properly, and it shows me uh, the voltage of each cell inside the battery. So uh, that tells me the battery itself is shouldn't be faulty, um, and each cell, although it's not fully fully charged, each cell uh, itself should be okay. Um, so. Next step, uh, I want to charge my battery, so I have to choose the correct setting. So that since it's a life pool, uh, I have to choose life here. Enter. Let's say I want to charge uh, using life balance, so it's detected as being a 4S, which is correct, 13.2 volt. Uh, which is correct. Well, actually, I don't know if it's detected or if it's the default setting at first in the in the system for for life, but uh, life for batteries. But that's correct. Then I connect those connector plugs, which include the accessory cable, so that I can connect into the charger. And uh, normally to ch start charging, I have to press start and hold it, and this is what happens. Okay, I get a connection break uh, error message. So, um, I've tried this multiple times. I've uh, I've tried uh, cleaning up the connectors and everything, and uh, nothing seems to be working. I keep on, 
I keep on getting this error message and whether I go to balance charge or uh, or normal charge uh, it doesn't matter I get I get the same problem so okay just just to make sure everything is okay what I'm gonna do is go double check the status of the battery away from the charger so uh, I'm gonna disconnect this and just to be double sure sure I'm gonna I'm gonna check how the battery is doing in, in a multimeter so Okay, so here we go. Enter battery checker. Let's go. Life iron. Okay, let's go. Okay, so here the battery is correct. Life for us. The voltage for each cell is detected correctly and it says I have about 77% uh, uh, charge remaining inside the battery so the battery itself everything seems to be fine so um, I'm gonna take this out so So next thing, what I'm going to do is I'm going to check the voltage out of outside the battery, the total voltage with the proper, well proper, the uh, different multimeter as well. So here we go. So is 13 volt so that's that's okay that's perfectly fine so the battery is fine and when I connect it uh, to the IQ cell it's being detected and the voltage for each cell seems to be working uh, to be calculated okay so um, but I guess the information about the battery voltage comes from this this little white plug here that's where the information for each cell is coming from so the next uh, step really it means the IQ cell so far looks to be okay and the battery looks to be okay as well so the only potential weak link in the whole charging connection seems to be coming potentially from this accessory cable so what I'm going to do now is check the voltage um, coming outside the battery at the end of that accessory cable after connecting the battery to it to see if I get uh, if I still get 13 volt out of it and so as such and no it's not working it says I'm getting it's it's a reading in in millivolts instead of volts. And it's basically nothing coming out. It's just saying 1.3, 1.4 millivolts. So it seems the problem is coming from the cable. So one last thing I can check to see where the problem uh, within the cable is coming from is. I'm going to unplug one side of the cable and check the voltage on one side using the source of the, ba the battery as the source for plus and tr trying to connect to the plus, uh, sorry, to the negative uh, on the cable and it's giving me 13 volts so it seems the voltage as such is okay 
So it's most likely that the problem in the cable is coming on that side of the cable, on the plus side, so I can check this. by connecting the plus side to the accessory cable as such and taking another voltage reading and if my theory is correct that's where the problem should be and the, we should have the same faulty reading here so yeah it's uh, it's reading in millivolts so basically it's not showing me the certain volts that are supposed to be coming out from from the battery so the it seems quite obvious the cable is faulty so one last thing I'm gonna do uh, if the cable is faulty in theory it means that if I hook up my own set of cables uh, from the battery to the charger and I try to charge the battery using uh, a proper well temporary set of cables but which at least has no fault uh, then it should it should uh, it should uh, charge properly so I'm gonna do this now so I just need a little bit of time to do some makeshift connection with the cables and scotch tape and then we'll try it again and see if that confirms the fact that the battery and the IQ cell themselves are right but it's just a little problem in that in that uh, in that cable here so so here we go I'm going to switch off and be back okay here we go again so um, here um, I've connected the, the battery to the IQ cell S60 uh, with a different set of cables here uh, since I believe this cable which apparently is called an XT60 this accessory cable is faulty on the plus side uh, the red cable uh, and by the way the X60 comes uh, as part of the it comes with the IQ cell S60 so now in theory if I remove this faulty cable from the system, replace it with a different set of cables, obviously it ain't pretty, it's scotch tape and just uh, plugged in uh, roughly inside, uh, then uh, now with the proper set of non-faulty cables it should charge, so let's, let's give it a try. And here we go. It, oh, so I have to press. Okay, confirm, enter, and here we go. So we are now charging. So it just confirms the fact that this cable is faulty. Uh, the XL S60 is in perfect working condition, no problem at all it's a good product and so is the battery it's no problem at all it's, uh, it's a little bit of a shame that it's just this uh, little cable that is creating a problem so uh, hopefully this video can uh, show that uh, uh, that's the source of the problem and hopefully Hobby King will send me a replacement one otherwise I have to rebuild the cable myself or rebuy or buy a new cable locally uh, because uh, it's not worth it sending back the whole the whole lot uh, back to Hobby King uh, including shipping costs and everything so hopefully they can and then to get it back so hopefully they can just send me a new accessory cable so here we go